This is a book I have never read before. This is the first time I'm reading it. It is called Lion Lessons. I'm not really sure how you say the author's name. John Agee, maybe? Um, okay. So this book is from 2016. Lion Lessons. It's not easy getting your lion diploma. I know, I took lessons. My teacher was a pro. There are seven steps to becoming a lion, he said, but first we must stretch. We did the upward lion, the downward lion, and the upside down lion, the rolling lion, the flying lion, and we shook our manes. Step one was looking fierce. Watch me, said the lion. You bear your claws, gnash your teeth, and show your fangs. I tried out my three most frightening poses. The lion wasn't impressed. Step two was roaring. It's simple, said the lion. Take a deep breath and roar as loud as you can into the microphone. I took a deep breath and roared as loud as I could. Needs work, said the lion. Step three was choosing what to eat. The lion showed me the menu. Fresh today, free range muskrat, wombats, organic iguana, all you can eat antelope, grass fed new, sloth or prairie raised anteater and wild warthog. Are there any specials? I asked, you know, like spaghetti? The lion growled, we don't eat spaghetti. Step four was prowling around. We crept through the woods, trying to be invisible. We hid in the bushes. I can see your tail, said the lion. We hid behind trees. Your tail, said the lion, I can still see it. Step five was sprinting. Do you see that tree, said the lion? I looked around. You mean the little one here? No, said the lion, the big one on that far away hill. I'll meet you there in five minutes. It took me an hour. You need to hit the gym, said the lion. Step six was pouncing. It's simple, said the lion. You get a running start and then you jump on that lady. But I'll scare her to death. Uh, that's the idea, said the lion. So I got a running start and I pounced. What a cute little kitty cat, said the lady. Are you lost? Meow, I said. The lion checked my scores. This is not very promising. Step seven was looking out for your friends. Right away, I spotted a kitten. Friend or foe, said the lion. That's easy, I said friend. What about that dog? I let out a ferocious roar. Row! I bared my claws, gnashed my teeth, pawed the ground, shook my mane, and then I sprinted across the field as fast as I could and pounced exactly like a, well, you know, a lion. Bravo, said the lion. And that's how I got my diploma. I'm very proud of it. But now the neighborhood cats won't leave me alone. Well, that was a cute little book. I like that. All right, have a good night.